Hi guys, Nick here and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll talk about biodigesters. They are an excellent off-site sanitation solution if your property can't be connected to a sewer line. Here in Kenya, they are gaining in popularity and are quickly replacing the already established septic tank system. In the following animated video, we'll look at five topics surrounding biodigesters. We'll start by defining what a biodigester is. We'll look at how it works. We'll also look at the components that make up a biodigester. We'll look at the advantages of having a biodigester in your property. And finally, we'll conclude by looking at the various sizes and the costs of biodigesters in the market. With that said, let's get into the video. A biodigester is an on-site sanitation solution. This means that it takes care of your sanitation needs within your own property. It is designed to use biological processes to degrade the waste that enters inside the system. One of the key biological processes is anaerobic digestion. This is where anaerobic bacteria degrade or eat away the waste material that enters inside the biodigester. These bacteria usually come or are added to the biodigester once it is installed on your property. I know you're wondering, what the hell are anaerobic bacteria? Let me explain in simple language. So anaerobic bacteria are a group of bacteria that operate under the absence of oxygen. That's right, they don't need oxygen to survive. That makes them the perfect candidate to use inside a biodigester. Normally, a biodigester is airtight. That means no air can enter inside. That also means no oxygen. Luckily, anaerobic bacteria thrive under these conditions. What's more, the food source is the organic waste that enters inside the biodigester. So it's a win-win situation for you and the bacteria. The more you use your biodigester, the more the population of the bacteria increases. And the more the bacteria, the more they eat the organic waste. That's part of the reason why it's extremely rare to find a biodigester that fills up. The anaerobic bacteria feeds on the waste, which goes on to reduce the volume of waste inside the biodigester. That's amazing, right? This is why here in Kenya, biodigesters are slowly replacing septic tanks. Although they both look similar, they perform differently. A septic, tanks, a septic tank simply holds the waste material until it reaches the, its full capacity. Once that happens, Exhaustor services are required to pump out the waste material. With a biodigester, exhaustor services are not needed. The anaerobic bacteria do their magic and slowly digest the waste material into water and gas. So, how does a simple biodigester work? I'm glad you asked because I'm about to show you the process. Let's dive in. Biodigesters are installed next to the last manhole of the residential or commercial facility. Two major processes ensure the successful operation of a biodigester. One, biodegradation, and two, displacement. We've already talked about the first process, biodegradation. This is where the anaerobic bacteria consume and digest the waste material. After digestion, the waste is turned into water and gas. Secondly, this is how the displacement process works. The amount of wastewater that enters inside the biodigester displaces an equal amount of wastewater inside it. That's a lot to take in, so let's use a simple example. Imagine a liter of wastewater is going inside the biodigester, and inside it, there's already some waste. What happens next? The one liter of wastewater that is coming in will displace one liter of wastewater that already exists inside the biodigester. This displaced waste is directed to an outlet pipe that is connected 
to a sock pit. Don't worry, we'll define what a sock pit is in a moment. The displacement principle is part of the reason why a biodigester almost never fills up. One liter coming in equals one liter going out. So what makes up a full biodigester sanitation system? There are crucial components that ensures biodigesters work like a charm. There's an inlet pipe that directs the wastewater from the house to the biodigester. But before it, it gets to it, something else is needed. A grease trapper. Like the name suggests, this traps fats and oils present in the wastewater to prevent blockage of the inlet pipe and also inside the biodigester. There are manholes that are placed at, at strategic locations to monitor the flow of the wastewater. At the last manhole, the biodigester is connected to the inlet pipe. The outlet pipe is located on the opposite end of a biodigester and is connected to the soak pit. Soak pits are trenches or ditches that are filled with hardcore gravel. Here, more sanitation occurs as the wastewater from the outlet pipe percolates down through the gravel and soil. A soak pit plays a big role in a biodigester sanitation system. On another note, because biodigesters depend on soak pits, they are not a good option in areas that experience heavy flooding or have high water tables. What are some advantages of a biodigester system? 1. A biodigester hardly requires any exhauster services. This saves you money. 2. It occupies little space in your property. The soak pit lies underground. It is covered with polythene paper on top of the hardcore gravel. Soil is then backfilled to ground level. And 3. You can use the water from a biodigester for landscaping purposes. This is because water is an end product as a result of digestion from the anaerobic bacteria. A special note, you can also use a biodigester to produce biogas, which is used for cooking purposes. But for this to happen, you need a lot of organic material. Biogas generating biodigesters are suitable for livestock farmers, especially dairy, pig, or cattle farmers. Good examples are fixed dome biodigesters or plastic bag biodigesters. Let's talk about sizes and the cost of biodigesters. Normally, the smallest biodigester you'll find in the market is a one cubic meter biodigester. In other words, it's a 1,000 liter capacity biodigester. At this size, it can cater to a maximum number of 40 continuous users. This size is perfect for homes and small business premises. On average, it costs about 80,000 shillings, inclusive of labor costs. Other sizes include 2 to 4 cubic meter biodigesters. In liters, they range from 2,000 to 4,000 liter capacities. These are designed for apartments, schools, churches, and commercial facilities. They can serve up to 400 continuous users. At these sizes, the costs vary widely and depends on the company you choose to install your biodigester. If you have more people than the capacity your biodigester can handle, you simply install another one with the same size. So that's it for this video. I hope you've learned a thing or two about biodigesters. I started this channel to help people who are looking to build their property but don't really know much about construction. So consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on upcoming videos. In the meantime, please like, share and comment below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.